Hey and welcome to another technological zone one. Today we're going to be looking at um, installing Alarma AI and the web UI on TrueNAS 24.10 Electric Eel. Um, yeah, I've, just, I've already got it installed here, so I'll just delete it. And yeah, sorry, I've, I'm sorry I've not been about. Um, yeah, I've had some cancer treatment and it's put me out a bit, but um, I'm back here and I'm still okay. But um, yeah, we'll just delete these. It's honestly really very easy to make your own AI, um, home AI service here through TrueNAS. Um, yeah, this is just running on my first ever home lab server that I had years ago, as I thought, you know, I'll see if it runs on it, and it does. Um, it's an R720 with um, two times two four seven zero CPUs with thirty two gig of RAM. Yeah, it's not amazing by today's standards, but um, yeah, I'm hoping it will be able to work quite well here. It hasn't got a graphics card in at the moment, uh, so um, we'll do it CPU. But yeah, I've, as you can see, that I've um, we're installing uh, Alarma here, and I've said it can have 14 CPUs, um, cores, and 16 gig of memory. It's just installing here. You have to go to the App Store, um, which is the top right. You have to go to Apps on TrueNAS. And um, yeah, sometimes this doesn't complete, but it does, if you know what I mean. It doesn't show you that it completes. But yeah. Yeah, so just waiting for this to install. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Just reset, I'll just refresh the page because uh, yeah, sometimes it just gets stuck here, but it has actually installed. Uh, let's have a look. Aha, Alarma is running. And uh, it says there is an update. We won't do that yet, I don't think. Um, yeah, so um, the yeah, Alarma is running. You can't actually do much here. I mean, you can access the API, but now we're going to install Open Web UI from the TrueNAS uh, chart um, repository. You've got to make sure you have the TrueNAS charts um, repository added here. But um, yeah, we'll just leave this with two and four gigs of memory. We had to change the port then because uh, it tries to use the same port as Alarma and that won't do. And again, this one's going to do its uh, installing and probably uh, let's see what it's going to do here. Oh, no, I think it's working. All right, so yeah, I've updated the alarm already with the magic of film editing and uh, the web UI is loading. So we now go to the web UI and here we are. Lovely, nice screen. Right, we just enter our, my details in here and uh, yeah, we'll be in. Then I'll show you how to set um, the web UI up with the um, alarm we just installed. As I said, it was very easy. It's just one click to really install both of these. Uh, just look at all the yeah, this, what's new. I uh, just got to find where I, I always get a bit confused here where to find it. I think it's yeah, settings and then uh, no, not interface. That won't be personalization. Uh, no, I think I'm wrong here. <coughs> I think it's going to be admin settings. Huh. Uh, oh there, here we go. No, no, what could we do there? No, no, it's not there. And we need to go back. I think it's admin panel and then connections. Admin panel. Oh, no. How do we get back to where we were? Settings, ah, connections. There we go. Admin panel, settings, and connections is there. Right, and it has the open AI one, which you'll, you have to pay for monthly. It's not much, but we'll turn that one off. Right, and we'll go to the config of our one. Uh, yeah, you go back to the um, Alarma thingy, the Alarma docker, and then look at the logs, and it will show you the uh, API key at the top there. So you just need to put the address of the Alarma and the port of the Alarma that you've got on your system, and the API key, as I kind of showed there. And... Um, yeah, that should start working. Yep. Yeah. And now we we try to find a model. So uh, we're going to click here, where it says click here, and now look at all the models that we can download. And there's quite a few. I think I'll just go with Llama 
3.2 possibly. Um, yeah, let's go for Llama 3.2. So you just type in Llama 3.2. button and that will start downloading Llama 3.2. We'll just wait for this to download. Do -do -do, we'll get there in the end. Yeah, it's still going. But yeah, as I said, um, installing AI through Tunas is very, very, very easy. You just install the two apps. Um, not much configuring is needed at all. You just need to set the port and how many CPUs and memory in, in the Tunas um, install in the in the, the actual app install on TrueNAS and um yeah just follow you know what I'm doing here and you'll have a fully working home AI system. Um it'll probably be quite slow because as I said it's my first ever um system which yeah is not a 720 two uh Xeon two six seven oh CPUs in and 32 gig RAM. Um yeah no GPU in it so I'm guessing it's actually not going to be that fast but um yeah if you've got a gp in your machine or if you've got a um well even a newer machine it, it will work a lot faster but yeah we'll just wait for this to download and it should come up that it's pulled it and then it should say that it's ready but there you go it's verifying it and then we'll just wait for the other message there we go successfully downloaded right so then we just do uh so we just close that and we go back to the little edit button uh no i've done that one i wasn't meant to go up there oh right Oh, there we go. We just go back and we go to chat and we turn it to Llama 3.2 latest, which is the one we download it. Now we ask it some questions. So tell me a joke. We just wait and I'll have a look at the CPU usage. Um, we told it to use 14 CPUs, which is about 40% of the cores that are in this system. So there we go, 47%. Yeah, so it's definitely using the full power of all the cores that I assigned it. And here we go. Oh, sorry, that was my dog. Um, all right, so um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good joke. That was quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, what is the population of the UK? Let's do that one. This is a bit of a harder one. I suppose it'll just grab it from the internet, but uh, we shall see. Let's see the usage here yeah 49 yeah so it's using all the cores that i uh, gave it so it is using 100 percent of them i would say um yeah just wait for this bit of a longer answer obviously oh here we go the this most population united kingdom is as of mid 2022 is approximately 67.6 .6 million people all right okay Okay then, well there you go. So we've got that and it's actually writing quite fast for this old system. Okay, let's let's see if we can get it more creative. Let's uh, write a story. Um, a love story. No, I don't know. Write a love story <laughs> uh, about Keir Starmer, which is our uh, Prime Minister. And Donald Trump, the incoming president again. So yeah, oh, this is sorry, my dog bugging around. So right, let's see if we can make a funny story about Keir Starmer in love with Donald Trump. Right, we we'll look at the usage here. Yep, it's fully pegged there. Right, we're going to log into the iDrack on this system now, as we should be able to see the power and the temperature what power it's pulling um this system normally pulls around 130 watts um so let's see what it's pulling when it's generating it's still generating still using the cpu in true nas mm -hmm. okay so power and thermals when it loads <laughs> right let's see what power oh that's not bad 
That's not bad at all, actually. I thought it would be pulling more than that, but I suppose we're using half, well, not even half the CPUs available on the system, but yeah, that's not bad. I expect temperatures will be good because I've got it very, very cool in there, as you can see. <laughs> what, the in, what, the inlet temperature is three degrees? I don't believe that one. That is um, cold, cold. Yeah, so we're uh, pulling, yeah, it's 238. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's pulling quite a bit. But not as much as I thought it would be. All right, let's go back to it now. Uh, oh no, let's see if it's loaded. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's give this a read. <laughs> oh god. They slipped away and sipped tea. Ooh. I'll get about the best way to brew it. All right. Well, there you go. That's my local AI, which was set up with only a few clicks on TrueNAS scale. Um, yeah, 24, I think 2410 electric eel. Um, I think it would work on lower versions. Uh, the version that I'm using is the current version. So yeah, there we go. It, it did a nice little story and I think it's doing quite well. So yeah, that's how to install it's on TrueNAS and it's very, very easy. It's, there's no problem there and I think anyone will be able to do it. So thank you and I shall see you soon, I hope. Uh, a bit more treatment coming up, but um, yeah, bye. Uh, tech Logicals.